This video is an introduction to using the UK CEH Thames Initiative dataset. The Thames Initiative produces weekly water quality and ecology data for the River Thames, UK, and its major tributaries. The 23 Thames sites have been monitored since 2009 under the Thames Initiative project. Older data dating back to the mid-1990s is also available for many of these sites. There are a wide range of water quality indicators being measured, including phosphorus and nitrogen species, carbon, suspended sediment and alkalinity, as well as biological monitoring, including chlorophyll and phytoplankton algal cell counts. Most sites are co-located with Environment Agency flow gauging stations. These water quality data are quality controlled alongside external reference standards and deposited into the Environmental Information Data Center, known as the EIDC, once every four years. UKCEH's Environmental Information Data Center is a catalogue of datasets where the vast majority are openly available for free use. To download any Thames monitoring data, start by searching EIDC in your browser and clicking on the eidc.ac.uk link. Click on Find and Use Data to search our 1900 plus catalogue of datasets or use the filters on the left-hand side to narrow your search down. Search for Thames Initiative in the search bar to find Thames water quality data alongside other Thames related data. The EIDC will tell you if the dataset has been superseded, so you always know you're on the latest version available. You can see the weekly water quality data is available from 2009, with the latest release being to 2017. Data to 2022 will be uploaded in early 2024. Scroll down to download the quality control data along with a separate download for the supporting documentation which details how to navigate the dataset, how the data is collected and processed, and how to reference it should you use it in your own research. A data paper describing the Thames Initiative research platform is available and can be found on the EIDC page for this dataset. This paper details all the laboratory analytical methods, descriptions of the study sites and catchments, and a summary of past research that has been carried out using the dataset. Viewing the data. It's easy to navigate through the data you're interested in or to browse the data by using the filter and sort functions in Excel. These data are a rich resource for river water quality studies and environmental modeling. For example, the time series can be used to identify breakpoints in water quality. These can be compared to land use data and the timing of wastewater treatment plant improvements or spills to identify causes of water quality changes. The load apportionment model uses the relationships between nutrient concentrations and river flow data to estimate inputs coming from sewage and agricultural sources. The use of this modelling and research has shown that major reductions in phosphorus concentrations in the Thames and many of its tributaries is a direct result of sewage treatment improvements. One of the main strengths of the Thames initiative is that it generates physical, chemical and biological data simultaneously at the same locations. This has been used to identify the biogeochemical conditions that result in algal growth in the Thames, which is increasing our understanding of the causes of algal blooms in rivers. We hope you've been able to find the data you need. Thanks for watching, and we hope this video has given you some ideas about how to use our data and what's available. If you have any questions about accessing our data or how it is used or can be used, please contact uk-scape at ceh.ac.uk. Explore our other training videos here on our YouTube channel.